Uh, that's me three years ago when I had short hair. I was uh, cleaning up the hackerspace. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elio. I'm from Albania. And yeah, I flew all the way from Albania. That's have been like 20 hours something. Uh, I just recovered from jet lag yesterday. Sorry, I'm using Windows. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about open source design though. And today I'm going to talk to you about SVG. So if you have been into web development, you are, might have come across SVG quite a lot. Um, this was actually three hours ago, so I thought I'd put that in. It was really amazing experience at the pyramids. I think I got a little bit of a sunburn, uh, but I think I'll get over it. I'm actually a tech speaker at Mozilla. Um, you might know Yuli, she's also a tech speaker at Mozilla. We were together in two weeks before in Paris. It was a really great experience to talk about Mozilla and um, evangelize also about the open source technologies. I also did Ura, which is a studio for open source design. So you might know that you have a lot of open source software, but their design kind of sucks. So we say, okay, why not do a studio and help all these projects? Um, I'm also part of, you might know a tour project. I hope you don't get your drugs there. We use it for better purposes. And we do internet censorship measurements over there. So for example, in Venezuela, lately there's been a lot of blocking and we do all this measurement so we can tell journalists what is up actually in that country. And I also co-founded Identia, which I'm going to talk to you about uh, later in this presentation. So I love SVG. The reason I love SVG is because it's a very simple format. It's actually based on XML. So if you are into web development, you are actually, um, you know what XML is. And the great thing about SVG is that also designers can use it, but also developers. So when you design a logo, you can actually do it in SVG because it's basically vectors. Also, developers can use it because it's basically lines of code. And I was thinking, why can't we closer work together, um, all these people, developers and designers? Why do we need to hand off when we finish our job to developers to implement that? Why can it not be better integrated? So I was starting to think that if we could use SVG as a common ground to play together, to work together better, and whether that would be possible. Actually, if you go to Wikipedia, you have the very first sentence says it itself. X XML files, basically, they can be edited with any text editor and drawing software. So it's the same thing can be done with two different things. And why are we still working in silos? Why are we still separate? SVG could maybe connect us both. But it also means that we use SVGs for different reasons. Web developers might say that we use SVG to compress the file size to make it responsive, while web designers, uh, designers generally say that it's actually smaller and easier to use. So I want to give you a quick example of how amazing SVG is, I would say. So if you go to andro.co, if you actually have a startup or some project, you might prefer this. andro.co is a repo of illustrations which are MIT licensed. So you can use this whatever in your projects and you don't need to pay for it, you can reuse them, it's basically open source. But what also Andro offers is that you can use your own brand color, for example, and customize the illustrations. So in this example, this is the default color, and you can change it to yellow. And what actually happens here is that in the SVG, this color is just a hex code in all these places, which means which you can just find and replace it, you get this new illustration. So SVG is very powerful because any web developer can do that. Instead of opening any graphic software, you can automate this whole process. And thinking of that, I was thinking, why wouldn't it be great if we could use a software where designers and web developers can work better together? And this is why we created also Identity Hub. It's free software, it's open source. We are not making any money out of it yet. So you can also self-host it on your own servers. If you are into React.js, considering this meetup, I suppose. Uh, 
Um, it's written in React JS in the front end. PHP Laravel in the back end, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we are open to any contributions if you'd like to help. But now I want to show you some how it works in real time. So I'm going to show you a quick live demo, which I hope can do with this microphone. So actually, oh shit, our SSL expired. Um, but, but the demo is working fine. So you can actually create your own project. Let's go, for example, to the Firefox project. And if I want to share a logo or an asset with somebody else, I can just go to the asset, and I can choose if I need the SVG, if I need the PNG or the JPEG. And if I need a PNG, I can just insert the resolution, and I get that resolution right away in my browser. Sorry, this is a bit big for 1,000 pixels, so it needs a bit of time. And actually, this is very useful if you want to talk with journalists, if you, they want to have your logo, and they, they say, can you give me this, please, in JPEG and something else? Instead, you can just send them this, and they can do it themselves. And instead of all having these different file formats, you're going to have this in one place. Also, the Firefox logo in uh, horizontal. You can also change the background color. So for example, if you have a white color, you can choose a different color if you want to represent it differently. Like that. Sorry, that's, that's uh, ugly, but you get the point. <laughs> And you can neatly describe all these categories to tell the people how they should use the logos and how they should not. For example, this looks ugly. Let's say the people that they should not use this. And we get a do not use flag. And people understand that, hey, I should not do this to your logo. I should not do this to your illustration. And we have all these different categories which you can choose, but you can also use colors insert different colors of your brand, and fonts. Currently, it works with Google Fonts, so you don't need to upload them. Let's say, for example, Open Sans. You choose all the ways you'd like, and you add it. So it's still very alpha, so you can see some stretch stuff here. And also images. In this case, some illustrations, also the same kind of thing, like with the logos. One great thing here I personally like is that a lot of startups, they might, they might rebrand after some time, and they want to change the logos. What you can do here is actually use this SVG link and embed that logo everywhere. And later on, if you want to update your logo, you can just click here on Update, Use a different SVG, and it gets updated everywhere you use that. So instead of re-uploading your logo everywhere, you can just do it with one click, basically. That's basically the main idea of Identity Hub. Um, we are currently working on our beta release, which is coming out next month, I guess. And one of our main features is going to be Git integration. So if you work in Git, GitLab or GitHub, whatever, we want to offer the chance that designers can use Identity Hub, but developers can use Git. So you have a common repo, and if a designer does a change to Identity Hub, it gets synced as a push, uh, as, as a push action to, to the Git repo, and also other, the other way around. So if you are a developer and you want to do a pull request, it gets also synced to Identity Hub. And this way, we can allow developers to use whatever tools they like, but also designers to not go into this whole Git thing and just use the um, graphical user interface. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you like it, and we all offer um, lots of ways to contribute, and I really hope uh, you use SVG more because I think it's an amazing tool which can bring us all together. Uh, if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Thank you. ¿Alguna, ¿Alguna pregunta? No importa que esté en español.
¿Alguna pregunta para Leo? I'm not. You can criticize it, no worries. It's basically just an alpha channel of black or white, so it looks like it's a different shade. Yeah. It's not. It's not a lot of rocket science, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, we use image magic. Um, with PHP in this case. We have no API yet, um, so we are really low on funding to create this project, but if, you, if somebody really wants to help, we currently have a Docker image of IdentityUp, so you can just deploy it yourself. The idea of IdentityUp is that it's independent, so you are not bound to us having your data, so you can just host it on your own servers, but you can also host it at us if you are lazy. Um, <laughs> But we want to do an API, it's just not a, there are other priorities right now. Developers. I'm a designer myself, but um, <laughs> I don't do code. Um, yeah, it has been a long way because it was our first software project and we didn't really know what, how, it, we didn't know what specs were, to be honest, back then. And now we know and it was a learning process. To be honest, the technical difficulties were not really such a huge thing compared to the experience. I know it's a very cheesy thing to say, but it, it was that basically. Thanks, thanks. It's uh, very alpha, but um, we hope to get there where developers and designers can can work better together. Okay. Otra pregunta? Bueno, entonces, un aplauso para Elio. Muchas gracias.